Welcome back to the next edition of the series titled, So, You Wanna Build a Box Barn? What I'm doing is filling the small tops of those knee walls. The bottoms of the knee walls open into a little cavity over the container. I'm not worried about that right now, but there's a little wall up there that I've gotta fill in. Because the thing is that I got some more roofing delivered. So if I can get those guys filled in, I can get some roofs up there, get some trim on the sides, maybe even a ridge cap. Yeah, we gotta do the ridge cap. Right, we got red on red chalk line. Not the best choice, but I kinda see what we're doing. I did get a new saw sent to me as a demo. You should know me by now. It's a little too cheap to buy a saw like that. But dang, I'm liking this thing. It's got a lot more guts than my little DeWalt. Not that I don't like DeWalt stuff, but it's just, it's just got a little more power. I'm getting three sheets out of each one of these guys. So I've got three more to cut. But just because I don't feel like waiting, I'm gonna take a couple of these guys up top and see how they go in. So I cut these pieces just a little bit too wide. I think I was Aaron on the side of wide. So I'm just gonna rip them down a little bit and see if I can get them to fit in. I'm not a huge believer in all these goops and stuff, like lasting forever, but this one seems pretty good. It's called like butyl tape. It's pretty much like silly putty, just to try to keep the water out. Similar to the tape and the goop and the other things I've been putting on the structure, I just kind of doubt this stuff lasts forever, but I'm doing it anyway. It's starting to rain, so I'm gonna have to leave the foam and come on back. Looks like a little blue patch back in there, so maybe it'll blow over. Rain stopped and it's 500 degrees. Foam is foamified all the way down. All right, Rich Cap is on. It's got a little dog leg right here, but I'm just not gonna worry about that. About five minutes after putting the Ridge Cap on, it is pouring down rain. Absolutely dumping out here.
Uh, I gotta take a look at this thing from far away. It's just it's like a little bit exciting. Oh, okay, I like it. I've got a little bit more screwing and stuff to do and then some trim on the sides and obviously the back one. It's gotta still be done. Basically, I just like the way that looks. Whoa! Like all the holes I dig with that thing it kind of went in like a underground twisted passage but I'll tune it up then I've got one more right here This is where it gets kind of interesting. I blew the bolt. It was like a, a blowout bolt here. What's it called? A shear bolt. Just to keep things from totally backing up to the tractor when it hits a rock or whatever. Hey, enough about holes for a second. It's actually raining for the first time since I put the full roof on. Oh, it's flowing pretty good. Got my first drips off the roof. I am putting some gutters on this. Not right now, but eventually. But before that happens, I'm just gonna appreciate a little bit of flow. I know it's a simple thing, but it's kind of cool putting a roof on a building and then sitting here enjoying the spoils of it. Oh, that is flowing so good. I mean, it needs a gutter, but it's flowing good. Got this hole pretty much tuned up. I'm down to like two and a half feet. Just gotta go another foot and a half or so. Uh, but before I fully locate that thing exactly, I've gotta locate my uh, side members, which I'm gonna bolt to the container. And they gotta do a little spacing and stuff. So anyway, I gotta get those dialed in so I can get that dialed in.
Uh, I just got one bolt dialed in so I can make sure the others are in exactly the right spot. And my holes are full of water. I'm just using shorties on these. I think these are like two and a half inches and the steel is quarter inch. So it's getting plenty of bite. So basically the connections like that with the two by six right here. And string line reveals that this one's got to come, yeah, a little bit this way. And this one's got to come, yeah, a little bit this way. I just don't have like a precision laser guided hole digging system dialed in quite yet. In my annals of calculation and miscalculation, I thought it was gonna be four bags of concrete per hole. That one took eight bags. All right, got the piers in. And those piers are gonna be the last thing I do in this video because next up is fashioning brackets for the piers, putting in the, the walls. It might seem weird, but at some point, there's gonna be a wall here. You just, you gotta accept that. Now, I should probably note that this is not necessarily a how-to video. There are many fine how-to videos on the YouTube about building all kinds of structures, step-by-step, step, everything you should do. But this is not a how-to video. It's just a story of how I did it. Appreciate you checking it out. Next episode, brackets, walls, stuff like that. Is that your swing? Nice. <laughs> so you. I'm allowed to put a wall here. So I need to be able to yeah, she said I need to put a cat door on the wall so she can swing through it.